Okay, before I go any further into uh, Bitsy hacks and how to use them, uh, how to install them easily, and how to install multiple uh, hacks in the same game without trouble uh, or much trouble, I'm going to jump to a specific hack that probably a lot of people want to use, which is how do you add audio to Bitsy? So uh, under Bitsy hacks, there's one called Bitsy Muse. Uh, right there. Bitsy Muse is a way that you can make sound work. Now, you could install it manually, but there's uh, luckily a separate tool just for Bitsy Muse, Bitsy Muse UI, and this works great. So uh, the first thing is we need a Bitsy HTML file. So let's get that for this game that I've made, which is essentially just uh, one room, and then you make your way into a different room. That's the whole game. So let me export this as a two-room game. And then over here in Bitsy Muse UI, I'm going to choose that file that I just made, tworoom.html. And then audio files. Let me choose the audio files. Um, not prepared for this. Let's, okay, let's find. Couple files here. So um, I'm going to just choose multiple files and I want two of them and I'm going to hit open. The reason why I'm choosing two is because uh, here you can see I can change the volume for each and whether they loop um, but I can also assign them to specific rooms. So let me say the first room has this sound and the second room has that sound and then I can export as a zip file and if I export as a zip it contains everything that I would need to send to the web server uh, which includes the HTML file and the uh, audio files. So now I should be able to just double click on this and hear uh, sound happen. And then when I go to the next room, I hear the next sound happen. So um, I didn't hear that just now in my headphones, but I'm assuming you did. And uh, uh, So that's a really easy way to use this specific hack called Bitsy Muse to get audio into your game.